Hey guys, my name is Thomas. Thanks for joining us this week for another Real Fly Rod Tip of the Week. Uh, this week we're going to be diving into how to clean and maintain your reel. So, I've, I used this reel for about 200 hours last year. It's a, it, it's a little like grimy, dirty, so I'm just going to use all these uh, tools to clean it out. Uh, what you're going to need is some dish soap, some clean tap water, a used toothbrush, so this is just an old one, really soft bristles. And then we're going to finish off with our favorite lube uh, from Loon. So let's uh, take a closer look and dive in. All right, so I've got my bucket of clean water here and my reel. The first thing you're going to want to do is break down your reel and then put it in your tap water. So I'm just going to break down my reel, get all the little components out. And we're going to let that soak for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes has elapsed you're gonna want to take your dish soap just something super mild put a couple drops in there start working that in the water and then you're just gonna start you know going over your reel by hand to get all that little grime and dirt out of the small crevices and stuff and you can take your soft bristle toothbrush and start working it into the tiny little bits, getting rid of all that dirt and grime and you know algae that builds up over the course of a season. So, there you go. And after that, we're gonna take our reel out. Just let it air dry before you uh, begin reassembling your reel. And then I'll show you how to lubricate your reel and then the proper you know process for storing it when you put it out for a season okay. all right after your reel has dried you're going to take all your components make sure you know there's no leftover dirt in there that could get gummed up the works you know and we're going to take our favorite lube which is the the loon reel lube you're going to lubricate down into your reel just you know a drop will do you it will work itself around uh, once around your bearing as well and then we're gonna start working that together reassembling your reel so you know it's small tips like that that will keep your gear going for many more seasons and when you're about to uh you know end your season you're going to want to strip your line off because if you leave it on over winter or whatever it's going to retain a lot of that memory in your line which you don't want when you bust it back out for the next season and then also one thing that you definitely want to do when you're done you need to back your drag off and it gives uh, the components inside your reel time to rest you know the springs and everything so. before performing any maintenance on your reel just make sure you check with your user manual about what kind of lube if any you need to use at all if you guys have any questions about cleaning or maintaining your reel always feel free to reach out to our pro staff here at real fly rod thanks again for watching this week's tip of the week uh, stay tuned and subscribe for more gear reviews and tips in the coming weeks thank you